What I would like to see come out of the uh, 11th Circuit decision after uh, tomorrow's oral argument is a 3-0 decision affirming the district court judge uh, when he found that the Obamacare legislation, the Obamacare law, is fatally uh, defective, is unconstitutional. Uh, I suspect that uh, the, this particular Supreme Court uh, will take the case uh, as quickly as they can. I don't think they will want it to uh, lie around. I don't think they're going to wait for other, uh, other circuit decisions to come in. Uh, they could, but I doubt it. So I think, I think we'll see, relative to the normally glacial time frame uh, within, within which our court system uh, seems to operate, I think we'll see uh, this case uh, get to the Supreme Court uh, probably before the end of this year. So presuming the U.S. Supreme Court takes this case, the Obamacare legislation, and determines its constitutionality, that will be uh, clearly one of the most important Supreme Court decisions in a generation or longer because it will answer the question for us, hopefully in the right way, but it will answer the question whether or not there are any limits whatsoever to the ability of the federal government, the ability of the Congress, to regulate behavior, individual behavior, under the so-called Commerce Clause. If the Supreme Court finds, uh, as the uh, district court judge did, that the individual mandate is unconstitutional and is a, as they say, a bridge too far in terms of stretching the Commerce Clause to regulate behavior, and if the Supreme Court agrees with that, we will finally have some limits on the use of the Commerce Clause to extend the power of the federal government over individual liberty. And that is a tremendously, will be a tremendously important decision. On the other hand, of course, if the Supreme Court uh, decides, say, a 5-4 decision, uh, finding that the individual mandate is not fatally defective, in other words, it meets constitutional muster, then we have uh, an answer to the question of whether or not there are any limits to the use of the Commerce Clause to extend uh, federal government power over the individual. It's the wrong answer, but at least we have an answer. So this is a, a, a tremendously important decision.